I like to try and reframe it as it's basically the molecular building blocks of our physiology and particularly our brain. Highly advanced, highly complex stuff. And we've lost the most complex biochemical formula that's ever existed. You know, the tropical rainforest, it's condensed into the developmental environments of maybe 50, 100, 200 species, all kind of concentrated into this symbiotic relationship with a few species, phenomenally complex. So losing that's the biggest problem. Whatever we replace it with, we've lost that. That's a really big problem. And then we've gone from kind of what would be called fallback foods for primates, you know, uh, roots and tubers and so on, which they're still complex, but nothing like fruit. And then we've ended up in environments where no doubt we had to deal with all sorts of kind of hostile environments where we've had to eat things that perhaps weren't very good for us. We've had to process them in various ways, start eating meat, um, also fire, of course, it can, it can change your molecular structure. Well, that's what heat does. It changes the molecular structure and it may have turned things that were toxic to non-toxic, but it's certainly not remo uh, remotely like a replacement for the complex biochemistry in the forest. And then beyond that, uh, in recent times, I mean, there certainly seems to be evidence that more, what we call more primitive cultures, which is a bit of a paradox, uh, more tribal societies generally have quite good health, certainly dental health and the psychology generally, I mean, there are exceptions, generally is in pretty good shape where they've been eating traditional foods. They're not forest fruit anymore, but um, eating kind of hunter-gatherer stuff, a lot of plant-based stuff more than people used to think, some animal products, this kind of stuff. We've gone from that to eating, well, the agrarian revolution. So moving from phenomenal complexity, much less complexity biochemically, to, you know, more or less basing it on grass seed. Rice, corn, wheat, barley, oats, it's grass seed and it's chemically defended, it doesn't want to be eaten, it's not particularly nutritious, and that's what we've been building our physiology and our brain from. Not only that, in order to process it, we've ended up, you know, grinding it, baking it, and then, then that's progressed into more modern times of phenomenal processing. So uh, really poor quality foods, processing the hell out of them, reprocessing them, mixing them with very damaged fats, and we've ended up, again, building a physiology and the most complex thing we know from these kind of materials with the presumption it isn't going to make any difference. That's kind of the most crazy thing anybody could have imagined.